No. After my Uncle Mark went on leave from work, cigarettes stopped being part of a break. They became a part of breakfast. He started sharing a bed with Jack Daniels. The outside of his belly became an atlas, pointing his family in a better direction, all while he remained in the same spot. Last November, his breathing started to get rigid. While his daughter drove him to the ER, he turned blue in the passenger seat. Within 24 hours, my uncle was in a coma. Lungs like IV pouches, skin the color of baby blankets when my father calls to let me know that his courageous daughters have elected to turn off the, his machines. It is the 13th and I officially decide to never allow alcohol or drugs into my system. After all, my parents have said before their families could never even drink socially. One glass, one bottle turns into 10. 10 turns into a full-blown problem. Full-blown problem turns into mourning for yourself. I don't want my stomach to turn into a liquor cabinet. I don't need a mouth swollen with the potential of cancer, asphyxiation, the potential that one day I will walk into a hospital and never walk out. The potential for substance abuse is practically embedded in my chromosomes. After my Uncle Mark's burial service, my cousin asks who is bringing the booze to the reception. My aunts do not say anything. They just point to the headstone in front of him. <laughs>